Know your marine stuff. Steering gear. In this video we will cover rules and regulation regarding steering gear system on board vessels. The following are the rules and regulations set by Solas for the steering gear. Every ship shall be provided with a main steering gear and an auxiliary steering gear. The main steering gear and the auxiliary steering gear shall be so arranged that the failure of one of them will not render the other one inoperative. The main steering gear and rudder must be of adequate strength and capable of steering the ship at maximum ahead service speed which shall be demonstrated. The main steering gear must be capable of putting rudder over from 35 degrees on one side to 35 degrees on the other side with the ship at its deepest seagoing draft and running ahead at maximum ahead service speed and <clears throat> under the same conditions from 35 degrees on either side to 30 degrees on the other side in not more than 28 seconds in case of failure of main steering gear the second one should start within 45 seconds. The design pressure of steering gear component hydraulic pressure shall be tested at least 1.25 times of the maximum working pressure to be expected. Relief valves shall be fitted to any part of the hydraulic system which can be isolated and in which pressure can be generated from the power source or from external forces. The setting of the relief valves shall not exceed the design pressure. The valves shall be of adequate size and so arranged as to avoid an under rise in pressure above the design pressure. The auxiliary steering gear must be of adequate strength and capable of steering the ship at navigable speed and of being brought speedily into action in an emergency. It must be capable of putting the rudder over from 15 degrees on one side to 15 degrees on the other side in not more than 60 seconds with the ship at its deepest seagoing draft and running ahead at one half of the maximum ahead service speed or seven knots. Whichever is the greater. Main and auxiliary steering gear power units shall be arranged to restart automatically. When power is restored after a power failure. Main and auxiliary steering gear power shall be capable of being brought into operation from a position on the navigation bridge in the event of a power failure to any one of the steering gear power units an audible and visual alarm shall be given on the navigational bridge steering gear control Control for main steering gear should be provided from both navigation bridge and steering compartment. In case of chemical tankers and gas carriers two independent hydraulic tail motors shall be fitted. Auxiliary steering gear shall be operated independently from the wheelhouse. There should be two independent power supply for the control circuits. One from Main switchboard and one from emergency switchboard. Short circuit protection to be provided on main supply and control system. By means of fuses. There should not be any overload trips. Only overload alarms to be provided.
rudder angle indicator to be fitted in wheelhouse. Bridge wings and steering compartment. Ensure dedicated communication system in place. Between wheelhouse and steering room. Gyro repeater to be fitted in steering gear room so that ship can be steered undesired. Course from steering room. On wheelhouse control of steering gear. It should be in position to operate under manual mode, follow up and non follow up, and autopilot mode. Change over switch to be provided in wheelhouse so that in case of emergency operator can change over control to steering room if necessary. Hydraulic power operated steering gear shall be provided with arrangement. 1. To maintain the cleanliness of hydraulic fluid. 2. For low level alarm at each fluid reserve year to give early indication of fluid leakage. 3. Fixed storage tank. With content gauge. Having sufficient capacity for one recharge. The steering gear flat should be readily accessible as far as practicable separated from machinery. Space. Steering gear compartment must be provided with handrails and gratings. And non-slip surfaces for working access to machinery and controls in case of spill. Question for you. Which type of steering system on your last ship? Please reply in comments section of this video. Please like and subscribe our channel. Please hit the bell icon for notification of our latest videos. Thanks for watching.